Right, hot function, I think. Battery replacement. Yes, I do know I've got a restricted performance problem. That's probably going to get fixed tomorrow. It says. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, turn it off. That's it. Crikey. Takes a little time to tell the system I've had a new battery fitted. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. That's it then. That should be a battery replacement thing, so I think that's in the BCM, isn't it? So let's just have a quick look. VIN, so I'll just not show you this part. Okay. Yes, that's the right car. Okay, putting 
ignition on. Diagnosis. Uh, control unit. Uh, BCM. Choice in BCM, I think it is. Live data. It's called battery age, I think, or something like that. So we're back to zero seconds. Interestingly enough, it, it had had a battery change before, but it was showing as being the original battery. So whoever did the battery change didn't didn't reset. But I've had the car eighteen months anyway, so it needed doing. Uh, going to uh, edit on top, deselect all at the top. And type in here battery. Battery. Like that. And then we should have. I think we'll just select them all and see, see what we get. Well, we don't want to bother about all the temperature stuff, are we? Ignore that. We'll have, we'll have the PIDs though. Battery related PIDs. Uh, battery test control status. I like battery voltage. Battery messages. We'll have those. We're not bothered about all these temperatures, are we? Oh, mind you, we are probably are cost thinking about it. They should always set to zero, shouldn't they? Because it's never been anywhere yet. There should be no learned data. Let's have all of them on. There we go. Okay, so we've got in the control normal battery replacement resets one. That's that's correct. Uh, what else we got? Estimated charge eight point four, which we know reads wrong. It's eighty four percent really, but it's probably about right for a brand new batch off the shelf. Battery voltage twelve point one, so that's quite low really. All the all the, all the currents are zero. We should have a battery life somewhere. It's in here somewhere. It's interesting that it's got some. It's kept them them uh, them settings there. The voltage. That's interesting. That's not reset, has it? No, oh, it's interesting. Power status, time capture. That's not reset either, has it? Hmm. That's interesting. I would have thought them seconds there, because I think that will be about seven and a half years, which is the age of the car. When we convert, convert uh, when we convert that to minute, uh, to to years. Time battery in service. I would have thought that should have reset to zero, but it's not. Hmm. That's interesting. So maybe the AUTEL AP200 does do some things, but not change the actual battery age. That's a bit uh, of rubbish. Hmm. I'll have to check. I've got a CAN bus scanner. And I know where the battery age is on there. So when I scan, when I scan the canvas direct, so maybe I'll need to do that and check that. But anyway, that should be enough for this video.